Hello everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Return of the Obra Dinn. The tragedy of the Obra Dinn continues to get more and more insane, basically. Um, not only was there a giant squid, there was also giant spider crab people, and then some other mysterious creatures started killing people, along with disease and interpersonal conflict. We're going to keep unraveling this mystery see what this poor soul saw before he died. Ahoy! Well back. Is it captive? Ahoy! Is it to Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Ooh, we got treasure. Oh! Okay. They're just shooting him from below deck? What is that? It's like a, sp a spiky mermaid or merman. Where do, they, where do they come from? Atlantis? I can walk on the water. Okay. So... Not a whole lot of people. Oh, there's another person. Who is that? Oh, can I get over the boat? I'm gonna walk around it. Hmm. Okay. So why are only two of the Formosans in the boats, but the other one's hanging back? Chapter 4. The Calling. Oh, the call's coming from inside the boat. That's a nice little conch shell. Oh, we've already identified that guy. So he was shot. With a gun. By one of the Formosans. By this guy. Uh, we have a 50-50 chance of getting him because we know who the other two are. Oh, we're going to steal this guy's soul. Yeah, we got a 50-50 shot. Let's see if this chapter gives us a little bit more info on the identities of the Formosans. Because Hak Sing Lao was the guy who was assassinated or executed by Firing Squad. Hopefully we can get a name in this one. Oh, the chest is on fire. Oh, I might have to blur that out. Is this all there is? Just these two boats? Oh, is she dead too? Huh. Interesting. Why would you pull these things onto the boats? We'll probably just leave them in the ocean. Because they're all spiky and stuff. What? Some of the people on the Oprah Den did not really have their wits about them, it seems. It's already dangerous enough going on a long sea voyage in this point in history. They were burned. Uh, 
Uh, I gotta go to the book. I gotta go to the sketch real quick. Because I need ident start identifying some of these mates. Third mate. Captain. First mate. Second mate. And so that's the fourth mate. Okay. I have identified them all already. There's just a lot of people on this ship that I have no idea who they are. Ooh, we're going to see what happened to Miss Lim. Just, I'm getting a little confused about the chronology. Like, when did this take place? This took place... This had to have taken place after the public execution of Hawk Sing Lao over there. But I guess this happened before the giant spider crabs appeared. And well before the giant squid appeared. So the Formosans weren't on the ship very long, it seems. Did the box kill him? Like he opened the box to kill the mermaids? Interesting. Yep, oh, well that guy got speared. Or spiked. Yep, oh, that guy got spiked. Uh, I don't really know what happened to that guy. Oh, wait, that looks like a knife in his head. Or like an awl, or just something sharp. Okay. Is there anything else out here I need to look at? There's an ore. Mermaids are getting blasted by... Fucking magical helixes. Helixes? Helices? Helizoos? Oh, I actually didn't look at um what happened to her. Let's let's uh, go take a closer look while we're here. She's just bloody. So indeterminate at the moment. We got a couple of names. We got an O'Hagan and Nichols. Nichols is one of the, the mates. Is that O'Hagan then? Because he's the one in charge of the ore. Oh, she got her. Looks like she just got her throat ripped out. Ooh. And no way to defend herself. It looks like her hands are tied behind her back. Okay, that guy was spiked. Oh, that guy's getting pulled under. This guy's the only safe one. He's just crouched down, hiding from these things. I mean, maybe there is something to be said about cowardice. All right, where's Miss Lim's page? She was... I guess I'm going to say she was clawed. That would make sense. Yeah. Hmm. I could make an assumption on which Formosan shot him. 
Uh, Brett, better safe than sorry. We have a name, O'Hagan. Oh, we just got a name. Bang. What a throw! While chest deep in water! Oh, and that dude's already got spiked too! Oh, and that dude was just dragged. Was he just dragged under the water? Oof. That's rough. Wait a minute. The pipe. I remember that pipe from a, a previous memory. I made note of it. Okay. So once we get back on the ship, we're going to figure out who this guy is. And we know that that's Bang now. Well, well, well. Looks like we're about to unravel a lot of fates. This dude was spiked by a terrible beast. This is Bang. I just got like for the Formosans. That's Il Bang Xia. Which means this guy was shot. By Chow Tan. Oh, did we do it? Yeah, three more. All right. That puts us at 15. 15 of 60. Oh, we know that other guy was stabbed by Bang now. So that is another fate we can determine. We'll reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! The one swabble! I shut it off. This is strange things. About monsters. Oh, so the Formosans know about the monsters. Right, that dude got spiked as well. And this chapter is giving us a lot of information. Oh wow, Ben came super close to death. Look how close that spike is to him. So what, they went on a little a little side quest to get this chest and bring it back to the Ober Den? For what purpose? Or was this part of the part of the voyage? Were they set up? Well, we don't know who this is. We know he was spiked by a terrible beast. Which seems to happen to a lot of people on this ship. We don't know who this guy is, but he was stabbed. 
or he was knifed by Beng. Okay. And once we get back on the ship, we're going to figure out who this guy is with the pipe. Because we should be able to determine that from his hammock number. It's a boom tube out of here. Six deaths, two kind of undetermined for that chapter. Two wayward souls disappeared. Oh, one of, one of them got dragged into the water. I'm going to have to go back. Darn it. Where is he? He disappeared. Um, all right, we have to go below deck. Like, kind of far below deck. And check out the hammocks. Where were the hammocks? Are they one step lower? I don't think so. No. Where... Where did all the hammocks go? This is the cannon deck. Okay, wait a minute. The ship is, like, changing. Um... Ugh, which one was Syed? The one where we figured out who Syed was. Because that was the one that had all the hammocks and stuff. Was it this guy? No. Okay, it wasn't that one. Oh, I've got to backtrack just a little bit here. Just a moment. Let's uh, open up the book real quick. He is in A Bitter Cold Part 1. Where am I? So I gotta get over to the surgery part. So I gotta turn, turn around. Whoop. Ah, it's the body bag. Okay, where was the one with the pipe? There it is. 47. I don't remember which guy it was, though. Is it the calling? Accessible only through another corpse. Accessible only through another corpse. All right, we got to go back up top and look at one of the Formosans again. And actually, do we know how the other Formosan died? Yeah, um, this is Chow Ten. We just don't know who shot it. We don't have we don't have this guy's identity because he shot him. Oh, 
went a little bit too far. Whoa. That was a cool effect. So it's not him. That's the guy with the pipe. So that's Alexei Taparov. Okay, I got that guy. Where did we start with that? We started right here. We're going we're gonna to kind of just backtrack a little bit through the chapter. Ahoy! Yep, that's when he shot him. Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! And then bang burn to death. Okay, we just got a boom tube out of here. So now I gotta follow Bang's storyline. No, darn it. I just... Okay. Oh, I'm completely lost. Didn't we just do Miss Lim? Oh, but well, there's different options. I gotta not choose the guy that ends it. So, wait a minute. We gotta remember the name O'Hagan. Since we know this guy is Alexei Toporov. Ah, here we go. This guy. He drowned. By a beast. And so that's O'Hagan. Just gotta look for the name O'Hagan. Patrick O'Hagan. Okay. Like I was spiked by a terrible beast. Okay, I think that's all the information we can glean from that chapter. Hmm. Yeah, what happened to him? Where does he disappear? Though, in there. I'm gonna say he was drowned too, then. Alright, three more!
Excellent. That puts us up to what, 18? Eighteen, so only, you know, like, a lot left. Whew. All right, well, where am I supposed to go next? Just gonna see how low we can go. Just gotta be on the lookout for some corpses. Do 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 do. do. Check the rooms. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, another giant spider crab. I must have missed this earlier. Is that guy giving it or receiving it from below the steps? Oh, he's jamming it right in the right in the bee hole. Cause this dude's this dude's done for. And he's just stealing that dude's weapon. He's like, not today. Ah, oh, har. Boy, he was ripped in half by the squid. He's getting ready to strike. Although he hasn't had much luck with, uh, you know, monsters. So he was spiked by a terrible beast. What about struck? Oh yeah, I keep going for struck. No, not, he wasn't strangled. He was spiked. Because he wasn't decapitated like the other guys. God, I can't get around this thing. All right, let's boom tube out of here. Yeah, I must have missed that part when I was doing Soldiers of the Sea last time. Whew, a lot of people got wrecked in that chapter. Huh, this person only has a one, so I should be able to figure out who this is. Let's see if I can put together this person's movements. So he was in a bitter cold. He was there when the mermaid got that, that dude. He was there when the guy got hit by lightning. And he was struck there, okay. Hmm. Alright, let's check this other door over here. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is. 
What, just a barrel? Alright, let's determine the fate of this suspicious looking barrel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Aha. I see. This is what that guy was talking about. That he said he killed his brother. He said it was the ropes. The rope broke and crushed this guy. Hmm. Okay. And the Formosans are on the ship already? So they were there at the start? I was assuming... I'm assuming this is start loose cargo because they're loading up the ship. Interesting. An unidentified stowaway. Oh, so I only have to solve that one? Interesting. Oh, what, was he hiding in the barrel? That's a ballsy move. Like, stowing away on a ship, like, how... What, what are you gonna just sit in the barrel? The entire voyage? Like, people are gonna... Probably gonna be like, um, who are you? going to be another stowaway? How many stowaways were there? Oh man, everyone's just getting crushed. I can see that dude through the floor. That's cool. Oh, this is the same scene. The stowaway's in one of the barrels. Needed like oh, I need a couple more seconds to look at people because this is going to give me the identities of some people. I think. Because these two are brothers, then. Because if this guy was killed, this guy said that the Danish guy killed his brother with the cargo. Oh, I've got a 50-50 chance. Mm, there has to be some way to figure out. There has to be some way to figure out which brother is which. Because that's a thread that might, might pull apart a lot. Well, we know this person was crushed by cargo. Uh-oh, sounds like a storm's coming in. Oh, well, that's all the chapters.
I guess. Well then, it looks like it's time to uh, do some backtracking, do some revisiting, and start putting these puzzle pieces together to form the coherent narrative of the Oberdin. We're going to undertake that seemingly monumentous task next time.